given one child up for adoption, and I was pregnant with a fourth child. I wanted to be a millionaire, though. And the way for me to be a millionaire was to do 40,000 abortions a year. When I was 18, I began my search for my birth father. In today's day and age, there's a really good chance that I would not survive. She was adopted as a frozen embryo at two cells. A wise decision and a doctor with some conviction allowed me to be born. And for the first time in my career, I didn't see her wonderful right to choose. All I could see was somebody's son or daughter. And suddenly, this was looking very, very different to me. My heartfelt view on the value of life, all life, at every age, has been changed largely by meeting people whose remarkable stories have given me a deep personal understanding of what life really means. It's been amazing to see what a little bit of visual truth can do and how far it can go in getting people roused to action. And I, I don't think they understand that we're talking about the personal right of a little child, a right to life. But out of the corner of my eye, I saw the uterus shake. Immediately, this little fist come flying out of the surgical opening. As Dr. Brunner touches the baby's hand, I fire the first frame. When you see the picture of your daughter underneath a microscope, and then when I gave birth to her and held her in my arms, and she looked into my eyes and said to me, I love you, it makes the gravity and the meaning of what a human embryo is, it drives it home. Stories of everyday people who've undergone changes of heart. Stories of determination and of the importance of every life. And stories that remind us that life begins at conception. These stories are all around us and they help us define the culture of life.